Hey guys, this is Josh, also known as Astro Triforce, a video games blogger. This is my Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Deluxe uh, for the Nintendo 3DS. Uh, walkthrough slash Let's Play. Uh, you can find Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Deluxe on the 3DS eShop. It costs about $6-$7. show you now where to find Bow Wow and uh, how to enter the second dungeon. Okay, you'll remember in the last part, uh, I got a little lost. I swear it's, it's difficult to actually uh, think while you're trying to talk and record at the same time, uh, especially since I'm a newbie at this. But uh, shortly after the second video ended, I did remember uh, where you have to go. So we're gonna go back to where we collected the heart piece uh, in the mysterious forest. So head in that direction. Remember that you can jump over enemies now, like that. It takes a little bit of skill sometimes. Okay, this place, after you collect the heart piece, you'll want to actually leap over here. You'll remember that uh, you can now jump over holes because you got the rocks better from the first dungeon. Um, remember whenever you collect a new weapon or item from a dungeon, uh, you always want to use it as much as you can in the overworld. In this case, sometimes, at least uh, for me, I would collect the heart piece and then for some reason jump out and I would forget to jump over. Now this is where uh, the owl was talking about Gobanga Swamp, which is right here. And uh, he said a new path opened up. Well this is the new path, because you can now jump over there. Uh, if you go through the other direction, uh, you cannot get over here because you don't have uh, anything to pass those stone blocks right there. So now this is the area we actually need to enter. Uh, yeah, I don't know what that means. I don't know where exactly what that's for. Now, if you go this way, um... If you head this way, you'll see the camera shop, which was newly added for the deluxe version of uh, Link's Awakening for the Game Boy Color. Uh, this shop wasn't in the, uh, the original version of the game, which I think came out in 93 or 94. Uh... In this version, they added pictures that you can find. Uh, you, you don't get them until you uh, go to this new picture show. Try to leave. See, it's actually in black and white the pictures. Uh, the A button says print. In the Game Boy Color version, uh, the two major things that they added for this uh, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Deluxe uh, for the Game Boy Color was they added a new dungeon called the Color Dungeon. They added, obviously, the fact that the game was in color instead of in black and white. And they added this picture f uh, feature. Now, in addition to there being uh, 12 um, pictures for you to find, each with their own accompanying uh, kind of cinema scenes. Uh, you could also print out the pictures uh, as stickers with the Game Boy printer. Uh, the Game Boy printer was kind of similar to the Game Boy camera. They came uh, came out around the same time, around 1998 or 97, around there I think. And um, the device didn't do you know, huge numbers or anything, so it wasn't used with a whole lot of games, but this was one of the games that did use it. Okay, so now, um, let's go into the cave where we're supposed to be heading, and we'll fight a boss 
Bowser and get Bow Wow. That will allow us to enter the second dungeon. Fearsome Bow Wow. Or Fearsome Beast. So as soon as you get Bow Wow, you will want to head right and you'll hear a special message from the owl. If you head left and you go back down through those holes, you'll miss this message. He will tell you where you can dig to find uh, secret seashells. Uh, I don't have 200 rubies yet, so I won't be able to buy this shovel. So instead, I'm going to head back to the swamp. So it looks like we might do some seashell collecting probably in the next level. Uh, in the next video. Um, some people like to just collect uh, rubies and get 200 so that they can buy the shovel um, by simply, you know, there's that grassy area in Maid Village with all the uh, grass that you can hit, uh, and you can easily collect 200 rubies. Um, but I like to do it the legit way and actually get the rubies from tre treasure chests in the dungeons. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. trading quest later on. This is the weird Mr. Right. Weird Mr. Right. So it's out on the map. Can read the sign. Oh, never mind. Okay, uh, this place you generally do not need to go in here, but there is this treasure chest that you can get right now. And that'll give you 20 rubies. This way, you can't actually get that because you can't lift that stone. If you're up here, you can hear the tall, the tall, tall heights music. Uh, that's, in my opinion, one of the most awesome things from this game. Okay, uh, I only got a minute left, so let's head to the uh, swamp, which is right. If you talk to this guy, he'll give you a hint. He always gives you hints on where to go. Or not. Actually, I think that was my first time talking to him. I think that's what he said. flowers, eventually uh, Bow Wow will eat them. Now here's the entrance to the second dungeon. 